Sunday. Let me get the chat pulled up. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that you are having an amazing Sunday and that things are going your way, that you're finding lots of things to shop for, and that overall, you're going to get a lot out of tonight because tonight is going to be pretty interactive and interactive in that I um, have pulled out several things that are currently available on either ILD or on Dooney.com as a part of the 12 Days of Dooney or the Mary Sale on ILD. And these are things that um, may be identical, uh, uh, available in its identical form on one of those two sites, or it could be an item that um, is available in a different color, a different leather, um, and I'm using it as a prop to just kind of jar your memory to help you think about things that you may want to pick up for yourself, what it looks like, how it fits in your collection, or maybe even gift ideas. So the ask for tonight first is, is that if you are in the chat, even if you're not going to live chat, I kindly ask that you go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And then secondly, as I share these different items tonight, if you have them in your collection, if you have experience with them, if you have an opinion, just leave that information, be engaged and be present in the chat because um, one of the things that I was reminded of today as I was going through and responding to um, some comments and as I was considering what things to show tonight, and it is that not everyone is at the same place in their Dooney journey. Some people have been collecting Dooney for years and have like pieces from back in the 80s, like the True Florentine and the all weather leather and all of that. Um, and then there are some people that have um, been introduced to the brand much later and may not have the same um, collection may not have the same point of view may not be as familiar with some items so as much as I share with you tonight I hope that you will engage in the chat and share with each other to help um, make some decisions because we're all under the wire right because the 12 days of duty does have a definitive um, end point but it also allows for those of you that are maybe not YouTube influencers, especially those that are influencers, but some of you that are not influencers, to be able to share your thoughts and to help influence a purchase or influence the steering clear of a purchase by being very active in the chat tonight. So again, I kindly ask that you hit the thumbs up. These, let me say this one more time, and then as folks come into the chat, if you would just kind of help remind them of things that they may have missed that I'm saying now. And that is that these items are available today, right? There are some times that I share items that are no longer available. Now, the color may not be available. It may be available in a different leather or a different material, but it gives you something up close to see so that you can kind of envision whether or not it will work for you or for gifting purposes. I also ask that as I share items, I'm going to share some of my gift ideas, but I'd love to hear your gift thoughts because not everyone is creative when it comes to the gifting space. And sometimes we get in the same rut of I'm going to give a gift card or I'm going to give the tie and the socks or I'm going to give the robe. And these could be viable. So they're available now. But again, it may be a different color. It may be a different leather. But the items are available now. And we're going to start with a couple of just like accessory items and then kind of build up. Don't know where I'm going to end tonight, but we're going to dive right in. 
All right. The first is if you have been around and have not picked up this um, Judy and Burke charm, the actual duck that you probably have seen in 10,000 um, thumbnails and on a ton of different YouTuber bags. It's available. It's available on both Dooney and on ILD. Make sure that you're checking both sites because the sale prices are different. It is heavy. This is not one of those little hollow, lightweight charms. You can put it on your bag as a charm or you could actually add your keys on here because it has a split ring it's a little tight to get open so once you get things on there they're gonna be on there until you have some time to work it off but it also has the little lobster claw so that you can easily slide your existing key ring on as well so this is one of those things um, it would be great if you have like a kid that's maybe getting their first house key, right? Trying to keep up with it and a regular little key fob might not be enough, but something that reminds them it's got weight to it and it's kind of flashy so that they'll remember it. This would be amazing. It's also great if you um, have like your keys that stay in your purse because you've got a push button start but you need your keys to actually get in and out of the house or maybe your p.o box this is great again as a charm or as an actual key ring so that is the first thing as you can tell i have not used mine opened it out of the plastic tonight but it's currently available Another item that is available, and I have been talking about this thing on my channel for years and probably have talked about it already in the last 30 days, but because everybody doesn't have one, I'm going to mention it again. And it is the Dooney and Burke Valet Keychain. It has the um, turn lock here, and when you turn this lock, it actually releases the bottom loop so you could keep your car key here so that when you drop it off for service or valet or um when you need your house keys and maybe your spouse or significant other is going to take the vehicle you can give them the bottom part and then put your regular keys on the top i guess i have maybe watched one too many lifetime movies where i've seen like the stalker um get the key from valet and then um copy or duplicate the key this way, your house keys are always with you. If you have a college student, this, I would say, is a requirement for safety reasons. If you have a young lady that lives by herself, be it your daughter, your niece, your sister, that key ring, that valet key ring, in my opinion, is a must. I have given it to all of the women in my immediate circle in my family because I believe that from a safety standpoint, Dooney hit this one out of the park. I have not found another key ring like this one. And because it is jewelry quality um, in its hardware, it lasts for years. I bought several thinking that because my keys were heavy that maybe something would break or pop or it, I've not had any of those issues, so I haven't had an opportunity to use some of the other colors, i.e. this one, that I have because the enamel around the turn line can be in different colors and the lettering can be in different colors. And I couldn't really decide at the time they were $19.99. Inflation has hit. They will likely never be that price again, but I would suggest jumping in and getting one of those now. The next for my bag charm lovers is this Dooney and Burke tassel. This one is in natural and I actually got this one on a Willis wristlet. It came with a tassel. I thought the tassel was way too much, but I'm also not a huge bag chomp because y'all my bags are already heavy so I don't need anything else that's gonna add a lot of weight to my bag and this one again jewelry quality hardware so it has some weight to it you're gonna feel this leather and you're gonna feel this hardware when you add this to the bag but these are available now 
couple of different colors. I don't believe that the solid one is available, but I love the solid because when I do decide to put it on my bag, most of the Dooney bag trims are, there you have it. So it pulls, it goes perfectly, perfectly with many, many, many of the bags in my collection. So because it is neutral, it's out there. But this one is available, couple, couple of different colors. So make sure that you are taking a look. Um, I've got a brush holder on it to keep it in place because I don't like it getting wild. <laughs> I don't, um, I do have some wild tassels. Um, I've shared some wild tassels, but where I can corral them and keep them nice and neat and in order, um, then I like to do that so that they don't become disruptive and distracting on my bag. And if you are looking like, oh my goodness, I'm new to Dooney and I have no clue about the makeup brush, go over to Amazon and um, do a search and you can get like a pack of like a hundred and keep all of your um, tassels on your bags and your charms nice and neat. Um, especially if you are a reseller and you are considering reselling to keep your tassels tame. My opinion, even though I'm not on the resale market, I think that bags that show that they have been well maintained like tassels that are intact warrant a much higher resale price because they're closer to being in brand new condition. All right, the next item, and then we're going to um, kind of, uh, I've got two more kind of accessory, and then we'll move into some actual accessories. This next one is this little thin card case. This is gender, y'all see mine is um, it's got some love. Okay, this is gender neutral. Girls, guys, it does not matter. I have the navy, but I also have one that has the black on the back. It's pebbled leather. Either way, it works. Here's one, if you have like personal business cards and work business cards, you have a place to keep them in the same place and still can throw cash or your debit card and ID in the top. If you have a teen, if you have a new driver, if you have a kid in or young adult in college and you're like, I don't have a clue what in the heck to get them, let me give you an idea. First is Visa or a food gift card. I don't care whether it's Chick-fil-A, whether it is Cheesecake Factory, or whether it is something in between. Kids always love to eat, and they're going out with their friends anyway. So food in the front, gas gift card in the back so that they don't have an excuse for saying, I couldn't get home, or I stayed out too late because I need... Nope, you had a gas card. So gas card a food card, and then maybe you throw some cash in there. And then, because they are forever glued to their phones, get them either one of those, like a little Halo or some other um, portable battery charger, or, because I'm certain that Corey is not watching tonight because he's working, what I actually got him was I went to Costco and they had a set of um, USB portable charger like extenders. And he has all of his devices and all of that stuff charging in his room. And oftentimes he goes from one charging cable to pull that device off to put another one on, even though he has multiple bricks. It's because he wants everything in the outlet that's closest to his headboard so that it can like lay on the side of the board with on the side of the bed when he's laying down. So that extender has a pack in it and it has like six regular ACDC wall outlets. So you plug it has the double prong in the back. So it basically 
goes into a full socket, it covers it, and then it gives six plugs so that he could literally plug in like his MacBook and do homework. Um, but it also has several USB ports, so he doesn't need the bricks anymore, which means when I'm there, he's not, TT, can I borrow your brick to charge, right? So he can actually just take the charging cables for all of his devices and plug them in. And for those that don't have USB, he has the wall outlet. Cash, food, money, and electronics. That is like every young person's teenager between the battery pack, the wall, money, cash, gas, food. Trust me. It's a hit. And if they're not necessarily the food, right? They're eating, they're good eating at home. If they're a gamer, throw a Xbox gift card in there. Or if they're going back to the movies, throw an, a, a Regal or an AMC gift card, gas. If they're driving, I'm just telling you, gifting is easy if you really think about practical gifts. All right, next thing. Dooney umbrellas. They are available. This one I don't think is on there. But um, I went from not really caring for Dooney's monogram and signature to being all about it. So I picked this one up at the outlet a few years back. And it is like the DB75 Multi. Which I'm going to talk about in several times tonight. But they have other umbrellas. So if it's someone close... Maybe you do an umbrella and a matching wallet because this is purse friendly. It's also leave in the car friendly. It's throw in a backpack or in a laptop bag friendly. Um, you could also do like the umbrella and maybe if it's somebody that you're going to spend a little bit more money on, maybe a pair of rain boots like Hunter or Sperry rain boots. You could also do the umbrella and maybe a poncho because not all rain requires an umbrella. Sometimes you need to be hands-free and a poncho um, would work. Or an umbrella and a nice scarf or an umbrella and a fedora because again, you're kind of doing rainy days, sunny days, those kinds of things. I These are not, let me, let me preface. This is not a heavy duty, I live in Florida and pick a, pick a hurricane name um, rated umbrella. This is your spring shower, maybe a little bit of a downpour. It's not going to be big enough for you and your coworker to, to walk back into the building um, after lunch. But it is a nice umbrella. I've picked up several different patterns. And these are absolutely amazing from a gifting standpoint. Not related to Dooney, not related to the 12 Days of Dooney, but for my melanin rich girls on here, if you like the idea of the umbrella, but you're thinking, mm, I don't really like the patterns. I don't want to give a white umbrella with ducks on it. Then go over to Izzy and Liv, the brown sugar box. They have umbrellas available and I personally think that they're a little bit better quality and the size is bigger than the ones from Dooney and you can get some that may have um more um ethnically represent the, 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 the patterns would be more ethnically representative of someone that you may want to give a gift to so um monogram Dooney or, again, if you're looking for a little bit more of a sister girl gift, then check out Izzy and Liv, the brown sugar box. I have several of those as well. My mom and my sister, as well as my great aunt, all, and my aunt. Or is she getting hers this year? She's getting hers this year. My great aunt already has one. My mom and my sister have one from Izzy and Liv because they were great umbrellas. And my mom, as she has gone in and out of doctor's appointments and in and out of work before she retired, people were always complimenting her on her umbrella and asking where she got it from. And she would just always say, my daughter got it for me. So anyway, all right. So those are a few accessory 
Um, now let's take a look at, um, where do I want to go? Okay, let's do this. Let's do some nylon. Um, and if you're enjoying this, it looks like the chat, um, you got, you ladies have some of these items I see and you're, um, recommending them and maybe you're quiet because you're shopping. I'm good with that too. Uh, just make sure that you hit the thumbs up. All right. Something else that is currently available, and if you are watching the rundown of the uh, 12 Days of Dooney, you have heard me mention over and over and over again the, um, that was my sister. She's calling me back from me calling her earlier. I called her yesterday about, yesterday about us buying some property. I'll call her tonight when she gets to work. Um, so, back to the uh back to Dooney. All right, so the Kiss Lock. We've all been traumatized by them, but uh Mono's Beauty has been um in the Dooney and Burke penthouse, the enabler corner this week because over and over and over again every day it appears that the Kiss Lock is the Kiss Lock is in the lineup so here's where we have this one for me for me it's nylon this is an old kiss lock because i've been traumatized my whole life by these things i just remember like my aunts not like my mom's sister and not my grandmother's sister, but the aunts by marriage. Those are the ones that traumatize me. Um, they would always have like cash in here and their license and then their cigarettes. <laughs> Nothing against smokers. It's just not my thing. All right. But theirs... I've seen, they had them this way, but then they also had like those long, narrow ones that are like perfect for a pack of cigarettes. Oh my goodness, I cannot stand those things. I just, I am not a fan of ice cream trucks. I'm getting way off track, but just bear with me. I'm not a fan of ice cream trucks, but my cousins all were. And I can remember so many summers like running to get money and this thing coming out for like the coins to get ice cream off the ice cream truck. But anyway, these are available. This is the back or the front, depending on what you want to call it. This is the Dooney nylon that I like. It's the shiny, slick, it's thick. You can't see like the lining through it. Whereas the newer ones, you can see like the white stripes. It has the Dooney and Bird duck. It has, this one doesn't actually have the card slots in it. So this has actually evolved as a necessary since I bought these. But the newer ones, and I do have some of those, they do have um, a couple of card slots in here. So whether it's overflow cards, whether you're going to use it as a candy pouch, whether you are considering using it for like your chapstick or lip gloss or lip balm or lip oil or what, you know, whatever that is. If you are maybe like me and you're kind of finicky when it comes to what you keep your medication in, then maybe you keep like your vitamins or your um, medications in here. This would also be a great place for you to fold and keep a couple of extra masks or like the little pocket pack hand sanitizers. Or if you're like me using the little Purell ones that you pinch and squeeze and can dispose of. This thing will hold a ton of these. These are available in nylon, in pebble, in Florentine. They have them in, did I see them in Dillon Leather? Somebody check me on that. It feels like there's nylon, pebble, oh, Wexford. They're in Wexford Smooth Leather. This, again, maybe you have a young lady that hasn't been traumatized by these and you could throw some maybe a sephora gift card in here and maybe a lip balm i would recommend the one from sol de janeiro 
the Brazilian kiss because it is amazing. Um, or maybe it is um, someone that's maybe downsizing purses or they're, you're not really sure what their wallet style is. Um, a kiss lock with maybe a Kroger or a Walmart gift card in it. So it's a two-in-one and it's also serving as a grab-and-go piece. Um, maybe it is um, for someone that has like their ID, their ID card. Maybe they have um, a Medicare, Medicaid or their retirement insurance card and they're always like fumbling through their purse trying to find those specific cards like they hold up the line at Walmart. They frustrate you when you're taking them to the doctor's office because things are not in one place. Something like this is actually perfect. And what I would recommend that you do, although many of you would likely probably pick up black, don't get black. Don't get black. Get it in a color that's going to pop, that's going to stand out, that will recognize it. When they send the grandkids in there to go fetch it off the nightstand, they know exactly what color it is so that they're not in there fumbling around looking for something black. Get something that is going to pop and put a nice little note or something in it along with the gift card and, and tell them how you envision them using the gift. Now, once you have given it to them, your job is done as the gift giver period, right? They get to use it however they see fit. But sometimes people look at the gifts and they're like, why did they give this to me? Paint the picture, paint the vision for them. But that is the kiss lock. The next item, I mentioned this, I think it was last week, and I dug one of them out because of course, I have always been in the nylon and red. Do y'all see how cute that is? All right. These are available on Dooney. I think they are in the Wexford and maybe nylon. They might be pebbled leather. Maybe it's something along that. I don't know. But I love these because you can throw like maybe your coins in here. Top, bottom zipper. The middle zipper could serve as like your actual wallet. Yes, all of that pink. Um, so you could actually like throw like your debit card, credit card, insurance cards, and know where everything is in here. And then in the top, you can use it kind of as a catch-all. Um, let's see, how much did I pay for this? I'm sure this is the original receipt. Let's see. To show you the impact of inflation, um, these were actually purchased at the outlet that was in Pennsylvania that is closed and no more. Um, I purchased these in August 12th of 2013, and they were a whopping $19.20 each. Don't think about what I paid for them back in 2013. Inflation. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We are in the midst of a logistic supply change fiasco. But I at least wanted to share with you how long I've had them and how much I paid for them. And that the there e, each of these has a current version that is currently available. Gifts this to somebody that may need a restock of supplies. Maybe it's somebody I don't know. You may have um, someone that uses public transportation, and you could give them a pass. I don't know. Do they give gift cards where you can like? purchase like a bus pass or weekly pass. I don't know. It's been forever since I was on public transportation. It was actually when I lived in DC. Um, but you could throw something like that in there or maybe it's someone that lives in a complex or doesn't have a washer and dryer at home. So they're constantly needing quarters to go do laundry and they don't need necessarily a full bag or a crossbody because they're dealing with laundry detergent and dryer sheets and all of this stuff. 
throw some coins in here, leave a nice little note, maybe drop a, um, a gift card so that after they're done with laundry, they can get lunch. Or maybe you put it with um, a bottle of wine, maybe some wine glasses, but I, I've, I've had these since 2013. And that's likely the time, the one that I keep showing you when I do my what's in my bag that has all my coins in it, like today, I probably got that one. If I didn't get it in 2013 for like 20 bucks, then I probably got it before then for probably 15 bucks. So um, there you go with inflation. But I, I love nylon. I love this nylon. It is different from the nylon that is available on Dooney today. I'm gonna leave that there. It's different, but don't you just love how the trim and the zipper pulls? All right, all right, let's see, where are we going? Where are we going next? Okay, let's talk about Janine. Because Janine comes in a small, she comes in a crossbody, she comes in a little tote, and this is mine. It has a center um, third section, so I could actually take the center strap out and make it a short little shoulder bag. The straps are removable. When I got this, I got it with the plans of not using it as crossbody, but actually using it as a catch-all or a purse jump drawer. You see the tiger stripes? <gasps> All right. So that was the vision that I had for this piece. It was not um, going to be a, a crossbody. I've never had visions of using it as a crossbody. And the interior, it does have a key keeper. It has a zipper pocket on the back wall. Um, there is no organization on the front. Now, I've had this one for a while. I've had this one since... January of 2018 and in January of 2018 the color ginger was available which is this one and it let me get this put back um it was $59.20 don't pay attention to what I paid back in 2018 you're not gonna find it at that price what I'm trying to do is make sure that some of the things that may not be on your radar, that I get them on your radar, and that while things are available, you can buy them instead of, you know, March, me showing how I'm using something, and you're like, man, I wish I had that, and you could have it if you buy it now. Um, so I am sharing so that you can see some of the things that are in my Junie vault so that you can continue to build your collection as well. All right, it does not have feet on the bottom. It is pretty narrow. It has, believe it or not, it has silver hardware, which is something that Dooney just does not do often. But this Toscana leather was in or is in the Florentine family. This is absolutely going to patina a little bit, but it won't get darker. Um, well, it won't change colors. It will get a little bit darker because this ginger color is the color. It's not like um, natural where the more you use it, the darker it's going to get with that patina. It's going to get a little, but not like natural Florentine. All right. I did not pull out Buckley. I've had a couple of questions um, posted, or at least one or two questions um, this week posted about Buckley, but I didn't pull that out. Um, let's see where we go now. Okay. I have... <clears throat> For a long time, had what I will call Dooney plastic or Dooney, yeah, it's plastic. It's, let's just call it what it is. It's Dooney plastic. Like the larger cosmetics, I lived in that thing for years. Every business trip I went on, it had all of my work makeup in it. It went from bag to bag to bag, from trip to trip to trip. 
And finally, the corners cracked. And even with the corners cracked, because this is in my luggage and it was mine, I continued to use it. I have um, been stalking the medium shopper version. And it, it's called, I think it's the It it shopper it me you'll know what i'm talking about in a minute okay so back last year the dooney it it that's what i'm saying it if you're searching lunch tote was available i'm i'm working from home i didn't need a lunch tote i didn't have visions of taking my lunch in it but what I did think about were stadium visits, poolside, beachside, air and run, um, high school sports, college sports, brunch, movie night, on the go. Not to mention, I must have gotten pulled into a YouTube vortex where I was watching clear bag reviews and how people were styling them and what they were putting in them and then it didn't help that my tribe sister Carmen Hawkins did a video of a bag that she picked up from TJ Maxx and it was clear and she styled it and it just continued to fuel this desire for plastic so I picked up the small last year, but I'm probably going to get the bigger ones, the, the shopper size, because y'all know I'm not a little bag carrier, but I thought maybe some of you have not seen this in person. So, this is the little lunch tote in the PVC. Okay, so here it is. I know y'all are like, is she serious? I am. I like what I like when I like it. You don't have to like it, but there is probably a tween on your gift list that would love it because it's not only duty and bird, but they can easily see their phone or if they got um, beats or AirPods in their bag. You know, kids like to show off stuff to their friends. Well, they can do that with this without anybody ever going in their bag. Now, it does not have a closure, but the It Medium one also does not have a closure. But here it is. So, let me get it again. It's plastic, and they have wanted some, in my opinion, ridiculous prices. Um, but the prices that they are now with the sale, and I think the best prices are on ILD, is the best they have been um, since they relaunched on the site. So it's got a little butt to it, and they can throw, like, their card case in there. And they've got an extra mask and they've got kiss lock and they still have room for their phone and a charger. And because you gifted them a gift card and a gas card, they can go out, have fun, get back home safe. Got room here for both their phone and their little halo or um, battery pack. And they are all set to go. It does have not, um, leather, vaquetta, corner pieces, and straps. And that is also the case for the larger version. So a little bit closer so you can kind of see... It does, even though it's plastic, it's PVC, it does have leather on it, and it does have Dooney's hardware. And there you can see the straps as well. This is probably going to be perfect for some people that are not big bag carriers, but here's what I'm thinking. 
Like, other than it being, like, summertime, poolside, maxi dress, shorts and t-shirt, like, completely appropriate. But think about if you're still working at home or if you're back in the office uh, and you just need to run a quick area into the post office at lunchtime. Maybe you dropped your car off this morning to have it serviced and you got to run back to pick it up. Maybe you're running out to grab lunch. You don't need everything. And matter of fact, you need to be able to see what's in your bag so that you can get in and get out very quickly. Maybe it's curbside pickup. This, I think, is excellent. This size is the lunch bag. It is the It lunch bag. These things are regular, $78. And trust and believe, they have been on the Duyenberg site for a period of time for $78. And I know, I know somebody bought them because they didn't want to wait and didn't know that there was a sale price. Well, I waited and I have this one, but they have a couple of others that I am absolutely interested in in the larger size. They have one that has a fuchsia strap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that one. But the yellow, the natural, I think I'm good with those. I just don't know that I can do the pink. But this little lunch pail is so adorable. And even if you're not going to use it as a bag, okay, let's say you, you're going to go stay in a hotel New Year's Eve and you're going to get dressed up and do like the party at the hotel, but you need something to carry your makeup in and you don't have the old school version that I had and wore out because it has been gone forever throw let this be your cosmetic bag for when you travel by car you probably wouldn't use it on a plane because it doesn't zip it doesn't secure but you could use this especially if you're carrying like larger um makeup palettes or maybe a full-size moisturizer or things like that this would work um for that absolutely maybe um, you have a little one and you're going to be just dropping them off at your mom's or at a friend's for just a couple of hours while you finish picking up some Christmas gifts or go and place a catering order. You only need a, maybe a bottle, a sippy cup, maybe it's an extra onesie, a few diapers. This could easily double as a really quick, I'm only going to be gone for a few hours little um, diaper bag and then when the kid is screaming their head off your sister your mom's not fumbling through a big old bulky baby bag trying to figure out where the doggone diaper or the pacifier is they can easily see where that is or how about pack it up with some of those things and go ahead and give it to a new mom even as a baby shower gift and then when she no longer needs it for the little one she's got a nice neat little bag for her stuff because the kids stuff is still going to take over everything. So again, this is the it lunch bag and this one is in the DB um, print. They do have others available. I like this thing. See how it looks with my black? Just think about that summertime. Solid color maxi dress or maybe denim shorts and a cute little white tee or whatever. And you're just on, on the go. It's out. It's not going to be, I mean, you can get it over your wrist. It's not going to be over your arm. It doesn't have a place for you to attach like a um, crossbody strap. But you might be sleeping on these little hidden gems. And I'm just reminding you, I think I've got a little bit of an eye for those things. At least I think so for my collection. All right, so I am moving on. If you have not yet hit the thumbs up, I kindly ask that you do so. Let's go take a look at something else that is currently available, but it's in a different color. Um, Lucinda Quimbley can go to the enabler corner for this one. The fuchsia color, which is what I carry for breast cancer awareness month. This color is not available, but if you like this bag, the blue is available in Safiano. So, if you're a blue lover, I think it's pale blue. It's not French blue. I think it's pale blue. 
I know somebody's on the site. Will you look for the flap crossbody and let everybody know in the chat what color bag this is available in? I'm pretty sure it's on ILD. It was a, a, a decent carry. I did struggle a little bit with this one um, because it has a center zip and because I was in it for several weeks. But at the end of the day, I've taken the straps off of it and tucked it in the inside. But at the end of the day, it was not a terrible carry. It was not bad. And I will probably reach for it again in October. Y'all know how I feel about pinks. This one has a little bit more going for it because it's not a blush or... Thank you, Lucinda. Um, it's not a blush or soft pink. If you're going to be pink, like, be a real color. Don't be confused and, like, teetering on cream or, you know, if you're going to be pink, go all in. Not, not the blush, shy... Or as Mo says, don't be bashful. It's a, it's a bashful or shy color. So it is available, again, not in this color, but you have to, oh, I guess it would help if I showed you the inside. Um, if you're looking for a more detailed review, go back in my playlist for Feed Your Addiction, and you'll be able to see um, my thoughts on this bag, usage, um, whatever these mod shots are that I do here, that will be available. So you see it's got a center zip, back, zipper pocket, and then it has a front section as well as a front slip pocket. So that one is here. Lucinda, I was in mine for three weeks as well. I was a little um, resistant at first because a month of pink almost took me out mentally. But once I got in, I was in, and I made it work. So, DJ King, I did exactly what I said that I was going to do, and I didn't cheat, and I stayed in it. But I would be lying if I told you that on November 1st, I wasn't already in another bag. Because October 31st, late in the evening, I, I did a bag change. <laughs> All right, so... I feel like I've got a bunch of other stuff over here. Okay. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? All right, here. We're going to do a quick comparison because one of these is available, not in leather, I don't think. It could be. It could be Saffiano and nylon. Nylon is available. But I want you to see the difference between two of them because not all of them are available. All right. This is the Dooney and Burke Tech Zip Tech Top Zip Bristlet in the color. I think this is mustard dandelion. I have no clue. It's got a ZL color code. Let's see if it's clear in here. Dandelion. So it's the color dandelion. It has a attached strap on one side and a kiss uh lobster claw let me give them a closure to take, take terminology together a lobster claw that attaches on the other side okay so you can use this as a small purse or you can tuck the strap in and use it as a clutch or just as a wallet or you can detach on one side and create your own wristlet. Let me get this in here. Let me see if I can get this in here. So you can actually create a wristlet for on the go. Well, do need create. Let me hold on. Let me let me get this back over here so you can see the difference. All right. So it has a zipper in the front once you get these things and once you move into them if you are kind of a big bag girl then it's hard to move or a big wallet carrier it's hard to move out of these but in the interior it has a built-in wallet like it has do you see all those card slots there in the back <gasps> 
So you can like really move in here and it serves as a catch-all. You can grab through your receipts, your checkbook. It has a zipper um, in the kind of on the back of the front wall. But these are not available. But guess what? Dooney does have these available. And by these, I mean the wristlet version. Not in pebble leather. It's, I don't think this pebble, you've got nylon that's available, but it's the same thing. It's just the wristlet. So instead of you having the option of carrying it as a little purse, the, the, the wristlet option is just that. It's this with a wristlet on it. It doesn't have the second piece of hardware. So I know DJ King has an aversion to these. If it's not this, she doesn't want it. I'm, I'm okay because <clears throat> if I'm using this, I probably don't have it over my arm anyway. It's probably just in my hand. Or I've actually detached the lobster and created a wristlet. And Dooney has done the work for it on the nylon version or the wristlet version. And it comes with a tassel. Not one tassel. It comes with two tassels. Now, I don't believe the nylon version of the wristlet has the tassels. I think the zippers on them are more like this the braided zipper pull. But either way, if you like this and you've missed out and you're okay not having hardware on both sides, then go get the wristlet. It is the exact same thing. It is the exact same thing minus the hardware and the strap that can attach on the other side. These are the, let me, let me show you. These are the same. They are the same. I'm okay with the wristlet strap because, again, for me, it's more about the interior function and the organization and what it holds. And as long as it has a strap. Now, this strap does not come off. It is an attached wristlet strap. But, again, I'm okay with that as well because the ones that do attach and detach, I've lost a couple of those. So, I don't have to worry about that with this one. So, the exact same setup. Zipper pocket in the front. There are your card slots. There's your space there in the middle. There's your zipper pocket. The only difference, the only difference is it does not have the second piece of hardware on this side and the detachable strap so that it can be a mini little purse. To me, they're both still grab and go. If you missed out on these, this is available. And I'm pretty sure, I know it's available in nylon. I want to say there's a, another option available. Maybe it's ostrich. I think it may be available in ostrich. And speaking of ostrich... The fold over zip wallet is available. I think it's only available though in pebbled and maybe one color in the ostrich. This is in the color pewter. You see that amazing sheen on here. Many of us in the tribe picked this up during the bucket list experience at the um, when we were in Connecticut, we were at one of the um, outlets and they had these and they had it in steel blue and steel blue was it that year and we wiped out the inventory in that store. But this wallet is available. I would say this is a big wallet. I'm going to leave it there. But it's a big wallet. It's not for the little small wallet carriers. It has an outside full slip on the back. It has a top zip. So this is great for cash or receipts or however you choose to organize your wallet. It has a snap closure. No slip here, but it has several card slots. 
It has the ID and it has the little cut out there so that you can easily get your finger in there to push your ID out. Then it has a back zipper and then it has an open slip compartment and additional card slots. If you've been here long enough, you know card slots make or break an accessory for me. And this one hit all of the boxes. All of the boxes. Snap, tons of cards, place for my checkbook, zipper, zipper, gorgeous color offering, snap closure with amazing hardware, and a, zip, a slip pocket on the back. From a size comparison, since this wristlet is available, I think there many of you may be familiar with this wallet. I'm just going to show you from a size comparison standpoint so that you can kind of see it to scale. All right. There we go. All right. Lined up on the end and at the bottom. So you can tell... The wristlet nor the tech top are going to be significantly larger than a large wallet, but you do get a little bit more length and you also do get a bit more height, but the uh, pouch actually has a much slimmer profile. Okay. <clears throat> What's next? Let's go here next. Did y'all see this reappeared on the site? It may still be on there. I know many people missed out on it. Um, and by the time I actually shared it on the channel, it was gone. I know that a few people, I think, picked it up on Nordstrom Rack. But if you still don't have this one, this, this is one of those pieces like the DB75 Multi. <coughs> Excuse me. This one you can put with a lot of different accessories. So if you're not accustomed to buying a bunch of different accessories to pair with your bags, but you like an accessory that you could kind of go from bag to bag to bag during um, a particular time of the year based on the colors that you prefer in your collection, this wallet will do it. It is another big accessory. Large zip around. This one is definitely... Um, available in Florentine, in Coated Cotton, in Safiano, in Pebble. It is the large zip around wristlet. If you missed out on this one, don't wait because it has sold out and disappeared many a time before. But I want to kind of show you from a size comparison <coughs> what it looks like. They're pretty much the, don't you slide off of there. They are pretty much the same size. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing the link. If you have not gotten yours, who knows after it disappears for the holidays when it will return. Y'all know how duty does things. But I wanted to at least refresh your memory. There's a video. It's an accessory video. It's been a, in a this or that. It's available. Not sure how long. Don't miss out. All right. The right. I'm running out of space here. The next <clears throat> is the Slim Wallet. Now, this was made for a while. I mean, I, there... I... I I've told you, I don't mind black accessories. It's black bags I have an aversion to. This was like it for me for a while. I got this wallet, moved in, absolutely loved it. And then the receipts from my business travel took over and it was no longer a functional wallet. But it has an outside zipper pocket. You can tell she's been loved. Um, and then in the interior, y'all see the theme for me? Plenty of card slots, card slots, and it has the cutout again in the ID window for ease of sliding your ID out. You know how they sweat and stick and it's hard to get them out? Dooney doesn't do it in all of its wallets, but the majority of them, you have an opportunity to 
um, get your finger in there to kind of advance the ID out if you need to hand your ID to someone. It has a dual slip option at the top and then the bottom has a slip along with card slots and a snap. I think I'm going to go back to this because right now I figured out a different one. Well, I figured out a different way to manage my travel receipts. So I think I could go back to this for a while. This pebbled leather is now soft and squishy because, baby, let me tell you, I gave this wallet the business and was a little disappointed, to say the least, when it was no longer working because I used to stay in a black wallet regardless of my bag and I could live in it. It did not bother me at all to stay in the same wallet because I knew everything had a place and a space, but you cannot be in this tribe and not catch the bug for matchy-matchy buying accessories and it got me i think the pebbled leather version is available it's also available in the dd 75 i don't know if safiano is available but this for me is a much smaller wallet less capacity than something like this and something like this thank you for posting the link I, I this this right here this is a good wallet i know i talk mess about it you know and, and y'all talk trash when i did my brenna um bag update and it was sticking up and all the paper and receipts listen everybody's life is a little different wallets have a different journey depending on which address they get mailed to and this one was working out for me until my travel for work just exploded. And then I could not keep the receipts in here and keep it all snapped and nice and neat and YouTube ready. So it was, it. this wallet has gone through real, real life. Okay. All right. The next <clears throat> continental clutch wallet I have given this wallet style the business and i do believe that there are better wallet options out there but i would be lying if i told you that i don't have several of them in my dooney collection this is the one that i have probably used the most because that maxi quilt goes with what was one of my favorite and still is summer go-to bags and at the time, again, I didn't have a lot of travel receipts and I was able to manage it. Continental clutch, zipper pocket on the back. Notice the thing. At least this one has a slip pocket. Hardware on the front. <clears throat> Snap closure. And... Plenty of cards. I was able to keep my, um, my checkbook stay here. I kept like my postage stamps back here because if I needed to mail something, whether it was a card for somebody at work, whether it was at that time um, the uh, check for my student loans, I would have that with me wherever I was. There is a slip underneath. You got the cutout again for your ID, card slots, and then one, two places um, for cash, receipts, whatever you need in there. I just, I, I wore this out. You can, I can see the love on it. I can also see, wait a minute, where did that string come from? <clears throat> This was a heavily used accessory, but I can still say that even using something every day, I still think my stuff looks better than some of the stuff I have seen pictures on on the secondary market, but moving along, moving along, moving along. All right. The next item is what is this one called it's the small wallet small card case 
somebody tell me what this thing is called but it's available it's available now in like pebble leather florentine leather um saffiano it's available i think there's a couple of prints available um it's a small wallet but for me i'm treating it as a card case it has a slip on the front it has a zipper on the back even little wallets need a, a, an outside slip or a zip and this one has both it also has now it has card slots for mo this is a wallet because mo can do a small wallet i had to shift my mindset and this is an oversized card case for me. It does have a place for you to keep your cash or your registration card or whatever you need here. But for me, when I see these card slots, it immediately translates to card case for me. And it is currently available. I have this in a couple of different colors. And if you have Russell's, if you have anything in Florentine that pairs with any of the color options that are available, I would recommend getting them because they will disappear or the color will no longer be available. Um, but these wallets are amazing. Don't miss out. Think about colors that will go from bag to bag to bag or if you purchase maybe a, a fashion or pop color in something from Dooney and they have it available, trust me, the community, community can tell you in the chat that sometimes the bag and the wallet aren't always available at the same time. Sometimes they appear five or ten years difference in time. So you have to pick them up when you see them anticipating that there will be a reappearance at some time and then you can finally merge and <clears throat> blend all of those things together <clears throat> all right oh child how much more we got i pulled out a lot of stuff somebody want to come and help me put stuff back up please hit the thumbs up the next accessory here <clears throat> is the florentine version steel blue black red navy brown tomorrow whatever color if you are a big bag big wallet carrier this whether you're getting i would recommend getting it in both the watercolor and a neutral florentine color because if you are a florentine carrier it could go from bag to bag to bag especially if you get a neutral like the chestnut the natural or the black dare i say the Dooney Holy Trinity of colors. If you get that, then you can move those from bag to bag to bag and not have to worry about switching things up. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. We're already over an hour. Shall I continue or shall I end? Let me see what y'all are saying in the chat. Should I keep going? Or should I cut it off? We got 12 days. Uh, and I'm on vacation next week, so I'm not on the clock tonight. <laughs> I know some of you have, like, stuff to do, but I'm off. Um, So shall I keep going? All right, that's all I needed. Lucinda said keep going. Ms. Angie said keep going. Chloe said keep going. So I'm going to go, 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 go. All right. Um, it's not a secret that um, my career has had me travel and that I'm not high maintenance when it comes to travel. I don't think I'm high maintenance when it comes to travel. Um, I don't believe in having out-of-body experiences and outbursts. You will never catch me arguing with somebody at a rental car counter or at a ticket counter in an airport. Baby, I was just raised differently and there's more ways to get what you need but i have gone through many phases of what is the right the best the most comfortable travel bags for me like i have gone from the ones on wheels that drag behind that make me look like you know i got a, a coat and a scarf and a hat and gloves and i got a purse and i got a 
laptop bag on wheels and I'm just heading through the Delta Concourse trying to get to my gate. I have been there, done that. Those bags have had a time and a place. And I'm not saying that I won't ever do it again. It just depends on what I need when I had files and when I was spending a lot of time sitting in airports. I needed that when I was doing more, more of that. Then I have had the backpack, which y'all know I have fallen in love with. I have done the Newport tote. I have done the messenger bags. I have carried my stuff in the largest of handbags with my laptop and everything in there. It, it has, it has, it just depends. But the Dooney and Burke Florentine messenger bag, which I have, but it is buried in the Dooney vault in this door um, in front of me because it has been forever since I pulled it out. Because again, I moved away from the messenger style bag once I went to a backpack and was hands free. And with all of the changes over the years that we've had with TSA since 9-11, the backpack e evolved and I just kind of lived there. But <clears throat> the Dooney and Burke messenger they have it available in florentine this one and i think this was kind of the brooklyn mm -mm, it wasn't brooklyn mm, i can't think of the name of the collection anyway we're just talking about the bag being available not available in this but the florentine version is available this bag is non-leather it has amazing hardware it has um, leather accents and I will tell you even empty this version which is a cloth version a textile version it's heavy empty so just keep that in mind if you're buying the Florentine version for yourself or if you are buying it for someone else it is heavy and if you think about even adding the lightest weight laptop in it, a charger, maybe phone, pens, a battery pack, heck, a, a, an extra pair of shoes, or maybe you're throwing your gloves and your scarf, whatever, when you get to the airport, this thing can get heavy, which is why I opted again when I got to a backpack, I stayed with it. But this thing... It has a crossbody strap. It has a web strap. It can be a shoulder bag. It has the top handles. I used it for a very long time. And if I get it close enough, you can probably see some of the wear on it. All right. It does have dual side pockets. The Florentine version does as well. And let's see. I can't remember. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? A lotion? Hotel lotion. All right. I don't think I was ever able to get a water bottle. Nope. Not going to be water bottle friendly. So for me, when I'm on my backpack, I have two pockets. Love it. One side always has an umbrella. The other side has a reusable water bottle. So those are the things that I travel with. I don't care what... I don't care what the weather says, where I'm going. I'm going to have an umbrella with me, and I'm going to have a reusable water bottle. But if the plastic water bottle won't work, then my reusable water bottle will not work either. So think about the use of these pockets, whether it's for you or if you're gifting it because the function. Let's see if my phone will work. All right. Phone will go in with no problem. Umbrella goes in and doesn't quite go to the bottom. Well, let's see. Is that me or? <clears throat> Not a great fit with the umbrella either. But you can get it in there and it will be secure. Because I had to pull that out. But it's not going to hold a water bottle. But if you had a personal phone and a work phone, you could absolutely keep those accessible. All right. Get that out. Okay. Back outside snap pocket. Web strap. Um, This has a little bit of antique hardware. This was... 
and this was marketed in the men's section so it doesn't have like the silver or the um gold hardware but i want you to look it's kind of antique i was fine with it and believe it or not there were men and women whenever i carried this that asked about the bag and that complimented it um so i don't think it read masculine or feminine it read I'm traveling for work and I got all my ish with me <laughs> and everybody else, you know, it was adjustable. So I was able to get crossbody um, and it, it worked. All right. So snap outside pocket, the lining of it again. <clears throat> you could say it's masculine or you could just say that it has the tartan lining, which is available right now on the site for holiday bags for women. So again, I think it read pretty neutral. Does not have feet on the bottom, but here's what I thought was interesting about this bag. The bottom of it is not flat. It is not flat. Um, now, I prefer a flat bottom, but it's got some kind of reinforcement and the bottom is kind of concave. So when you're at the airport, it doesn't sit flat. When you sit it down, even with stuff in it, it kind of rolls. So I would always like either, um, you know, sit it in the chair beside me or quite honestly, it would sit on the floor, either on the floor between my legs or laying against my leg or the chair, wherever I was. Um, the straps here on the front adjust. And the only reason you would need to adjust them is because if your bag had, you know, tons of stuff in it and you just needed a little bit more room because your bag was stretched, you could do that. In the interior, again, a continuation of that same lining. And it has a padded laptop pocket in the back. I'm sorry, it has a, a zipper pocket in the back and it has a padded um, laptop sleeve here. I wonder. That's got my work badge in it. <laughs> I better get that out. Um, so again, you've got the sleeve. Everything is collared in leather. And then on the front, Um, okay, on the front, let me get this so you can see it. It has all kinds of organization. So you could stick your phone or when this was available, I think people were still using like um, Palm Pilots or Blackberries. So it would fit in there. You had a dedicated place to stick your business cards. That is um, a screen wipe for my laptop and my phone there. And there were several um actually it had two pockets so if you did a like a blackberry and um a palm pilot it had both of those or which is what i did i had to keep my phone in one and then i use the other one for pins because i always had more pins than the two loops here even though this one was in a pin loop so it has a double snap closure. There you go. Double under the flap. And it also, let me, has the double handles here on the top. Leather hardware. I did this color because it was very neutral. It did not matter what I was wearing to work, what color coat I had on, the black and kind of the, um, you know, the, the tapestry or whatever. It just, it, it worked. Okay. Um, also, as a travel bag, it was a birthday bag. Well, this, I bought my first one as a birthday bag and it was designated as a plain carry-on if you're looking for that video. It was in Cabriolet. It has been available in Pebble. It has been available in Nylon, in Florentine, in Cabriolet, 
and I want to say there is a fifth option, but I cannot think of it right now, but it is the new court tote. This is nylon in black. See, I talk a lot of mess about black, but I'm wearing black and I have shown y'all plenty of things tonight and recommended things with black. All right, here we go. Nylon Newport tote. Trust me, wine bottles will not fit on the outside of these pockets. If you are a big bag girl, you could use this as a big purse or you could actually use it as a work bag or as an overnight bag, as a gym bag, as a yoga bag, as a baby bag. You could use this for um, a carry-on. You could use it for a weekend overnight or girl's trip. Or if you got um, a little girl that's maybe into dance or ballet or cheerleading and all of that crap that they have to haul around, mom would really appreciate having something that kind of holds and corrals everything all together. Big pockets on the outside, big pocket on the back that has a snap so whether it's ballet shoes or extra laces or maybe it's someone that pay, plays an instrument maybe um uh, people are in art orchestras or people have gone back to church and maybe you need um strings for the guitar or picks for the guitar or you're a music teacher and you're carrying around a bunch of sheet music or maybe it's a realtor lots of contracts and your agenda and all of the stuff that you need for the office or teacher listen a, a pastor right you're carrying around a bunch of different stuff a principal a lawyer a doctor a listen this bag is everything and if you're not getting it in um, one of the leather versions which I would caution you about because it's big and it's heavy it is not for the faint of heart if you are getting it in Florentine, but the nylon option is a lighter weight option, which allows for you to add all of the stuff that you need to survive during the day or whatever it is that you're using it for without the bag already being super heavy when you get started. It has similar straps to the messenger bag, except the messenger bag, laptop bag that I just showed you didn't have hardware. These do. So the straps will actually lay down and get out of the way. If you have a luggage tag, I would not recommend though checking it at the airport. It would be a carry on overhead or under the seat. I love my Cabriolet version. It has a zipper closure and it has the extender zipper on it so that if you can extend and then actually get the flaps to lay completely flat on the inside so that if you didn't want to zip it you can have easy access in and out it has an adjustable web strap so you can use it as a short shoulder as a crossbody. um it just it works male female young old it would make for um, a great bag for an expecting mom that needs to pack and take some things to the hospital for a couple of days. Has a key keeper. Has really big pockets in the inside that can handle a whole lot. And it also has the slip and zip. So you get your SDS, as military mom would say, the standard dual setup on the interior. And this one is black with the Sierra trim amazing stitch work it is a big bag so whether again handbag an occasion bag work bag on the go bag gym bag it's a bag bag this is a serious bag if you would like to see um i would recommend doing a search for the nylon Newport tote and look for the QVC videos to see how the models have styled it. Because although you may be thinking, oh, it's really big, it's really gonna be like, you know, the ballet bag or the dance bag, the cheerleading bag, 
the ladies actually styled it in a couple of those videos that inspired me to think, you know what, this can also be a handbag because I'm a big bag carrier. They had it on with like these little um, pack and go. I've fallen in love with those pack and go um, like rayon or nylon rayon dresses. And it looked perfectly posh on the arm of the model. So either it's work or travel or as a purse, it just works. And I think it was posted at $139 price point. Don't miss out. All right, so the next item, page sack. Page sack has gone with me to Hawaii. Paige has gone to Florida and been bought was bought additional in Florida. I have purchased the page sack at the tent sale. Um, Paige was my kind of grab and go movie night bag. Um, even after I switched to like the small double pocket sack hobo and the barrel bag, which it will probably never get used again for me. Um, but they have it available and the page sack is available in the Greta print. It's available in a couple of others, but if you're focused on that LV vibe, in the monogram, in the brown tomorrow color with a better quality um, coated canvas, and a fraction of the price, page sack, I would recommend taking advantage of. It has an adjustable strap. I love the fact that it passes the elbow test. I have not had to adjust it. It is absolutely amazing. It has feet on the bottom. Now this one is in nylon in print, but I'm recommending the coated cotton in the Greta in either, I think they have three colors available. They have it in the brown Timora, they have it in the bone, and I also believe it's available in the navy. That price point, it has been hanging out in my cart. I'm probably going to go ahead and pull the trigger on it because I love this bag. It holds a lot. I'm going to take out the stuffing, and I've got a lot of different accessories here right now. I just want to, because this bag can be deceiving. The size of it can be deceiving, just like Erica can be deceiving. I know a lot of people steer clear of that bag. It's available in nylon and I think pebbled as well. But I just want to give you a feel for how much the page sack can hold. All right? So let's start. That's one. Two, three, four, five. Y'all look at this. I got five accessories in there, and I still, you can still see the bottom. I have room. That's five. Six, seven, I still have room in this bag. It carries as a medium. Listen, I've had Paige Sack in my collection for a long time. She is a little sleeper powerhouse, whether you carry a lot or a little, whether it's a heavy carry or whether you only you know throw your hard case sunglasses your wallet a car case baby she can handle it and she's not gonna look all sick when you got her loaded down but if you don't have a lot of if you don't have a lot of things in her she's still gonna keep her shape i feel like i need to find some more stuff to put in here to help you understand the capacity of this bag if you are sleeping on the page set, the alarm clock is going off. Get your behind up, sign into your Rakuten account, 
Go to ILD. If you don't find the one you like over there, go over to Dooney, put it in your cart, and check out. You can thank me later. Um, I don't think this one is good. You know what? Why not? Why not? Because this was not intended to be a crossbody for me. Let's let's see if I can get this in the top. I don't know. Um, but look at that. Look, look. I still have room in this bag. Y'all, all the accessories that I have shown you tonight are still. Uh, uh, and I, look, I still, I still have room. Look at this. Add it to your cart. Add it to your cart. It doesn't matter whether it is. Look, y'all, I still have room in this bag. Don't miss out. Whenever I have an opportunity to get a page set, Especially in one like that brown tomorrow with the DBs all over that's going to go with everything. This bag is a clown car of a bag. I feel like I need some more stuff to show you how much more capacity. I mean, this, 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 what, what do I? Okay. See if this one will go. Okay, this one might be. Mm, let me see. Hold on. What did they get? Oh, it's got the rubber band on there on that last notebook. All right. Listen to me, Linda. Listen to me. Put it in your cart. Put it in your cart. You're not sure what to get your sister? Get her Get her a page set. Not sure what to get your mother? Get her a page set. Not sure what to get your fussy, nosy sister-in-law? Get her a page set. It is going to work. And it's a lightweight in the nylon, but they have it available again in the coated cotton, which is not going to be heavy. And even with all of that in there... Now, she is starting to get a little boxy, but she holds it all. The zipper is not strained. She still goes under my arm. No problem. Let's recap on what I have all I have in here. It has a full-size Janine minus the strap because I took the strap off because I wasn't planning to use it as a crossbody, but... If I wanted to, I could still roll the strap up, drop it inside the page sack, and still have a crossbody option if I needed to, like when I get to the grocery store or something along those lines. So there's one. Then I have nylon triple pouch. Nylon kiss lock, continental wallet, fold over clutch, slim wallet, excuse me in the way, I have the tech top zip wristlet. I have a full size journal. I have a second journal. I have a tech top zip pouch wristlet. It does not have a really wide mouth, but she eats a lot. She will hold a lot. She will hold a lot. You will not be disappointed. She has organization in the inside. 
This one is a sample bag, so I don't have my SDS in this one, but all of my other ones do have the SDS. I know, I know you were sleeping on her. You weren't thinking, you're looking at it like, eh, I don't know about that bag. Keep, 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 keep sleeping on her. And then when 2022, 2023 gets here and it disappears and people that are taking my advice get it, you'll be sitting on a live saying, I wish I had gotten that bag. Or somebody will be new in the community watching this video and they'll be like, man, I missed out on a little clown car of a bag. Hawaiian print not available. That was um, a Dooney sample, but we're talking about the page sack and specifically recommending that you take advantage of it in the Greta print. All right. We're still going. We're, we're still going. We're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna just go. We're gonna go. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up. All right, the next one. DB75 Multi, the shopper. This came as a perfect pair. I did get an accessory to go with it. The accessory is um, not available right now. I don't have it here beside me. But do you see the theme? Dooney did a nice job when they were kind of doing the umbrellas to match some of the um, prints and coded that was available. So this is... Um, that was an option. I think I bought all of that around the same time. Great shoulder drop. Many of us have this bag in a couple of different colors. Like it came in white with like blue straps. I think it came in a white with white straps. Then it had the black. There, th This has been around. No outside pocket, but it does have feet. This could be a laptop or a work bag for some folks because it's a nice size bag. But for my big bag loving tribe sisters, the love of this bag is real. <laughs> it, it comes um, with a zipper top closure, which I love, but it has the extender on it so that if you wanted to use it as an open tote, you just extend it all the way and then the flaps lay completely down in the bag. Just stuff that down. And then you don't have to worry about the zipper clawing your hand or scratching you or any of those things. It just lays flat. It has the standard dewy set up in the inside and you can use it as an open tote or you can zip it closed. It's available on the site right now. Not to mention anything in the DB75. Don't miss out on it. I did not, when this was readily available in like tons of different bag styles and options, like in Olivia, I was, I did not want monograms and stuff all over my bag. It was available forever at the outlet and I was so ready for this stuff to disappear. I was not interested in it at all. And then when it disappeared and I finally kind of started to, um, you know, embrace it because sometimes we don't embrace things when they're readily available, which is why the secondary market is so profitable. You end up paying, in some cases, more for somebody's used bag than if you had purchased it when it was originally available. This was one of those. I missed out and I just kind of waited my turn until it resurfaced and then I did not miss out. So there's that. Now, we go to this side of the chair. All right, about it being available, you saw me with Tasha earlier this year and the wallet, so it will go, the wallet will go with a ton of different things. Don't miss out. This print is available in a ton of different bags, a few different accessory options like it's available in Janine. You can get this print in this accessory. Use it as a small crossbody, cut the strap off, use it as a catch-all, leave the hardware attached so that you can add a little dainty 
chain strap from some place like Coach or Amazon, and then you can have the best of both worlds. Don't miss out. Large zip around wallet. Do you see there's a theme? There's a theme for me when it comes to wallets and bags and colors. Even as a wristlet, if I'm running in, it's pouring down rain, I got my umbrella, my wristlet matches. It's perfect. The next is Tasha because clearly you just can't have too much DB75. But it also gives you an opportunity to look at the dimensions of the Dunienberg drawstring bag. And if you are curious about Dooney and Burke drawstring bags, my trap sister says what has a little bit of, shall we call it a fetish with the DB drawstring bag. So you can head over to her channel and see great reviews, hilarious content around not only this drawstring bag type collection, but she has plenty of others over there. Drawstring, feet on the bottom, a big butt. It does have a, um, what did I just drop? Slim wallet. It does not have um, an adjustable shoulder strap on this one. Um, well, I take that back. You can do it on the sides, but this is a little bit of a headache to adjust, but you, but you can. If you need it a little bit more, a little less, you have that option. It does have the Eternity braid on the end of the strap. So it's an option. And this bag appeared out of nowhere and then it disappeared and then it came back. So I wonder how long it will actually be available through the holidays. All right, we got it two more we're getting there i didn't realize i pulled out so much i hope this was helpful i hope even though i'm not really like really in the chat right now i hope you all are helping each other and endorsing or disproving providing your thoughts on the items that i've shared i appreciate mrs q for sharing links and says what for sharing links and helping the ladies shop here, hey, Kim. All right. We talked about this one. I, I I have already, like, recorded a few days of the um, daily review for the 12 Days of Dooney. And I don't know whether this video has already gone up or not. But if it hasn't, listen, we, we're, we're going to have a conversation about this bag. This is empty. It is heavy. It is big. It has maximum organization. It is not for the faint of heart. The strap is too small for it. If you don't adjust the strap and you're vertically challenged, it hangs too low. It's too big, too bulky to use as a crossbody. But baby, you get the whole cow's butt when you buy this one. You have double outside pockets on the front. You have you like your pant pockets here on the front as well. So you have tons of organization before you even get into the interior of the bag. And then before you even unzip it, if you flip it around to the back, you can see where my, it rubs against my leg on a day when I was shiny like a new penny. It got a little uh, transfer. But anyway, my bag, my bag. You got an outside pocket that has amazing capacity as well. Love the red cotton twill lining. It has a strap, so you could switch out. You could switch out the strap. I would recommend you do it because the strap that comes with it just does not do this bag justice, especially with the weight that it has even when it is empty. It has four feet under the bottom. They are reinforced. It has an amazing zipper uh, pull that has double tassels on it, smooth hardware, oh. and it has 
a huge capacity. Standard Dooney setup, snap pocket, use it or not. I, I know we're kind of split in the community. And then it has a nylon key keeper and it has this little poor shoulder strap that quite honestly, it looks great hanging, just dangling from the bag. But if you decide to carry this bag solely with this strap, I have an amazing chiropractor that can get your spine back in alignment because it, this bag is four pounds of leather and hardware empty. Four pounds empty so just think about that when you are adding your things in or when you decide to throw your tablet or your laptop or your beeps or whatever else in there you might need a little wagon to pull it behind you because it is going to get heavy i learned the hard way the hard way that this bag, although has amazing capacity for travel, you do not want to be trying to get from TSA to Concourse D <laughs> with this bag and a backpack and a laptop and a coat. And it, it listen, it's not for the faint of heart. And if you don't do good with heavy bags, save the rest of the community the issue of you returning it because it is heavy. There are plenty of ladies in the chat that can tell you I'm not exaggerating about the weight of this bag. You are getting a side of cow. You pick the left side or the right side, but that is how much leather you are getting in this bag. The tassels are heavy. You're getting two of those. It adds weight. You've got the serious gold hardware. It's got a strap. It's got feet. It's got tons of stitch. It is no joke. So again, you have been warned. This is not a bag you go experiment with because you will end up returning it. And y'all know how I feel about returns in this community because it's the same way many, if not most, of you feel about returns but i at least needed to show you her she's gonna get a good patina but she won't get it outside of the state of georgia unless i'm driving in a car because she has been banned homeland security has banned this bag at the airport for me because she's heavy she's heavy and she makes me miserable when i am traveling so she she can't go she can't go she can go in the car she can't, she can't go back in the air. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Absolutely, Kim. It is like carrying a small child around the airport. That is exactly what it is. All right, y'all. We're down to the last item. And I have not seen this item. Although, I have, well, let me rephrase this. I bought this item in a different color. This one, I have not seen because it is still in the package. Little story behind this bag, it was pre-pandemic and the tribe was traveling and we were meeting up and it was our first meetup um, in Chicago. And on the bus that morning, on the party bus, um, Dooney and Burke that weekend released this bag and I was on the bus. We were on our way with a discount to shop at the Aurora outlet. Hi team, we miss you. I'm coming back. Um, the, the, the sales team in Aurora are absolutely amazing. But I was like, I want that bag. I want it, I want it, I want it. They had it in red, it was featured. And I was like, I'm gonna get it. And everybody, I was like, I'm gonna get it. They were like, DA, it's gonna be there. We're getting ready to go shop. It might be available there. Or go and see what they have. And if you don't find what you're looking for, you can always come back and order this bag. Like it just launched this morning. 
Okay, I talked, they talked me off the ledge. Shot. Still wanted the bag. Hit back on the party bus. It was gone. It's gone. And there were no remnants. I didn't have a name. I didn't capture the screenshot. I didn't remember when it said it was going to ship. It wasn't on pre-order. It was just gone. Finally, it became available again. Mm, several months later, I immediately ordered it, got it. And it was perfect for my Hunter and Sperry rain boots. But I have more than one pair of rain boots and more than one color. So I needed another bag. Clearly, I have not worn the shoes that go with this one because the bag was tucked away and I didn't know where it was. But now, we're going to see it together. It is the crossbody bag in the color taupe and white. And it is available in, I think, two different colors. This color may actually be available on Dooney during the sale. If you're looking for someone that knows how to pack this bag and get the absolute most out of the carry, Phenomenal Personality has this bag in orange and the brown tomorrow, and she packs the heck out of it. She turns... It has clown car capacity for on the go. I'm hoping that this is going to be perfect. <laughs> ah! Taupe and cream. It's probably looking a little white on camera. Does it say white or does it say taupe? Taupe and white. So it is white. So it's looking a little, I don't know, to me it looks like it might have a little bit of a tinge to it on camera, but it is in fact white in person. You've got the taupe body, you got your big BB duck. The back of the bag is white. I would have preferred something different just because the potential of transfer, but for me, color transfer with pebble leather is the easiest to manage because warm, soapy water and it, it will wipe clean. This baby with my boots, with my little rain boots, my winter boots during this time of year, absolutely perfect. Adjustable strap, it does not remove. Back pocket, perfect for your phone or your mask. Snap, you don't have to worry about snow getting on it or rain getting on it because pebble leather is a workhorse. And you don't have to worry about this. I love the texture. You see the texture, the 3D texture on this? It has the DB logo that's kind of molded into the body of the bag. Great, strong hardware. Do you see all of that gorgeous stitching? It just stands out on this bag. And then they do have this style bag in like Safiano, Plain Pebble. But if you're looking to build a collection and you're looking for something different that you don't currently have, or you have rain boots or other things that you think this would go great with this is absolutely adorable it's perfect for shopping if you're a small bag girl it works for that it comes with a dust cover it's got plenty of stuff in but i'm going to try to get all of that out so you can take a look at the interior of the bag So you can kind of see where everything is kind of molded in there because that's the plate there. And then on the back, it has a slip and that is um, 
maybe suede kind of Napa. Eh, maybe more suede than Napa leather. Slip pocket in the back. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Ah, so light. Let me, wait, wait, wait. Mm. My pocket, I think that's supposed to be a pocket, but it doesn't. Oh. Oh, didn't like that, but there's the slip pocket there. It kind of, I don't think they were supposed to put glue there, but they did, so I had to pull that. So it has a slip and then a slip and then the open cavity there. It can be easily wiped down. But you see, it has, oh, let me see if I can do this. If I can get it, I'll get a better angle here. Okay. You see, it's stitched all around. So it definitely is a pocket, but for some reason, mine was glued. But there's the pocket. I may have to get some conditioner or like, Goo be gone and wipe that off because it is a pocket. It is a pocket. But for whatever reason, this one was glued. I don't know. Dang, Dooney, why couldn't we just end on a high note? All right. Please, please hit the thumbs up. If you are shopping the 12 Days of Dooney, make sure that you're price comparison Dooney to ILD. I am doing a daily rundown. Um, here's what I want you to know about the rundown. Many of those that are upcoming are already pre-recorded. So sometimes during the 12 days of Dooney, Dooney may add an additional item or they're doing like these 24 hour promotions. So if you are watching my daily recap and there's something and you're like, dang, she didn't mention that, it probably wasn't available because the video was pre-recorded and just set to upload on the day of that particular launch. So keep that in mind. Don't come for me. I'm telling you what the deal is. Um, but I am going through day by day and giving you my thoughts. And some of these items that I'm sharing with you tonight will be featured in some of the upcoming days. Um, so don't miss the opportunity to pick them up. You've now had an opportunity to see them in person. You'll have an opportunity to hear my thoughts on them, um, when the video goes up. And again, all of the things that I showed you today, with the exception of this, are currently available in some form, leather, print, option, so you may not find the actual, you won't find this wallet, but you will find the Continental wallet. You can actually also find Maxi Quilt wallets on there, but you won't find this specific one. So I hope that this was helpful. Please make sure that you hit the thumbs up before you head out. Share this video with somebody and thank you again for spending nearly two hours of your Sunday evening feeding your Dooney addiction. Thank you so very much for watching and until tomorrow noon when the next video launches, I do hope you find something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care everyone.